What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today I purchased $13,000 worth of Funko Pops full of exclusives, rare pops, grails, and so much more. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I do hope you're having a nice Tuesday today. So today we're gonna be showing off the entire $13,000 collection that I did actually purchase. And the reason I purchased this is because I wanted to do one more huge stream at the end of this year. And then after that, I will be taking a break for a couple months from auctions and things like that. Now today, this video is sponsored by Drip Shop Live. And if you don't know who they are, they're a live auction app and website where you can buy and sell your favorite Funko Pops, comic books, trading cards, pretty much anything you might collect. And speaking of Drip Shop Live, that is actually where this auction will be held. Over on Monday, December 11th at 5 p.m. EST, that's when everything will be available. So make sure to use my link down below to sign up with Drip Shop Live today Today and bookmark this show for Monday the 11th. I do hope to see you guys there and using my link that'll actually get you a free $15 off a $30 purchase or more and that is strictly for buy it now items but don't worry I will have a ton of buy it now items available. You guys are always asking me to go bigger and better and this is probably going to be my best show I've ever had. And just to let you guys know throughout the week I will actually be dropping different pieces over in the buy it now so you may be able to pick up something a little bit earlier than the show start time. So let's go ahead and jump into the collection and show you everything that I did actually pick up. All right, guys, so we're switching to handheld now, and we're going to be going around the studio here. I did actually kind of categorize everything. So there's one piece, and then there's Hunter Hunter, Demon Slayer, and all that, just so it's a little bit easier for viewability in the video. And we're going to be going over each different category here. So let's jump into it. So I guess we'll go ahead and start off with some of the miscellaneous we do have. So for TMNT, we do actually have... I think this is the full turtle like Power Ranger collab set, or maybe there might be one missing. I'm not sure, but we have Donatello there from SDCC. We have Shredder from Funkon with the official five year sticker. As you can see, it is actually double sticker layer. They were doing that at the event. So I believe that was one of the ones that was affected. So official sticker on there. It's just what a Funko employee did. And then another Funko employee mishap there is where they had to switch the sticker at the event at NYCC last year. Then we also do have the Leonardo Toy Tokyo and then the Mikey from NYCC. So definitely a fun set with the turtles there. Now we also have Stitch Boba. Then we have a couple Digimon here. I believe all the monsters. So we have Agumon, Gomamon, uh, Gobblemon, and where was the last one? Oh, Patamon right here. Right here we have Noel from Black Clover. We also have Spinner from Winter Convention, Ukiyor from Bleach, and then a couple more Black Clover of Yuno and Jack. Moving on over here, we do have a decent amount of the Hunter Hunter collection here. So up top we have Karapika as well as Illumi Zoldic, the Toy Stop exclusive. We also do have a Killua Chase set here of him and Godspeed. Golden Freaks from Hot Topic. Alika Zoldic, her chase is somewhere right there. Then we have Kite, the Komigi Chase, and Netero there. And then the regular Komigi. Down here we have Leorio and Meruem, the regular Common Gon, Kite, the Funko Shop exclusive. Then we have Hisaka, the Diamond Collection, and the Common. We also have Kilo Azoldic on the skateboard. The first Kilo Azoldic, Pito. Then we have Bisky, Karapika FYE, and then the Kilo with Yo Yo. And I do believe that is all the Hunter Hunter pops that we have for this stream. Now, for Demon Slayer, we do have a lot. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So, up top here, we have the Enosuke lounging, kind of just chilling there. Then we have Tanjiro. Easily one of the best in the set for sure. Then we have the Final Selection Guides 2 pack. We have Rui, Tanjiro, Kano, Nezuko, Kano Glow. Then we have the Tanjiro Galactic Toys. We do have Zenitsu over here, Rui the Glow in the Dark from the T Bundle, Nezuko. Tanjiro there with a box lunch sticker, Muzan. Surprised we haven't gotten another Muzan pop by now. We also have the Chase version of Tanjiro there. Then Giyu Tomioka, another fantastic one in the set. Over here are a couple of the bigger ones like Mini Nezuko and Nezuko and Basket. And then we do have Tanjiro versus Rui. And then back over here, Inosuke, uh, Kagaya, Tanjiro Hot Topic, the Inosuke Chase, Inosuke from Target Con, Sanami, Mitsuri, Muichiro down there, Giome, the Chase of Giome. Such a simple crying chase. It works. It's just so freaking simple. It's just crazy with how much it's worth. The Inosuke Flocked, 
in Mu and Nosuke from GameStop and Tanjiro with noodles there. And that should be a majority of them. Actually, that's not true. We do actually have um, some of the Grail ones. I think we have Shinobu in the Grail section at the end of this video. Ignore the stuff in the back. That's just a bunch of packing stuff. But we do have a couple different bigger size pops for the One Piece section here. So we do have the Luffy with Thousand Sunny. We do have Trafalgar Law with Polar Tang and the Luffy with Going Merry. So we have every single One Piece ship. Definitely really excited for that. I do actually own all three of these, so I don't need any of these for my collection. But we do have Ace there, the cover. No other covers, unfortunately. There was no Luffy or Roger, but we do have Ace. We also do have the Hungry Big Mom and Kaido there. Look at the size difference in Kaido and Big Mom's boxes. So that's a deluxe box and that's a new style box Funko made for some of the other like bigger, bigger figures. It is just crazy. Now three more of the bigger items from the One Piece collection. We have Big Mom with homies. Debated keeping this one. I don't own it and it is such a cool looking pop and she's also very heavy. Then we have the Child Big Mom and the Chase version making a set. Continuing with the One Piece section, we do have Nico Robin there. This one is actually from 2021 for anybody wondering about specific dates. We have Shanks, Zoro, Red Hawk Luffy, Luffy Taro, Snake Man, we have Buggy the Clown, the Jean Bay Chase, Sabo, uh, Doflamingo I think is also from 2021, same with Boa, Luffy Taro, we have the Trafalgar Law, Armored Luffy, we should have the Chase version of the, a couple of the Armored ones as well, Crocodile, I think we also have a Yamato Chase, we'll be showing that off soon. I do love Yamato's look so much, this is one of the most detailed One Piece pops. We have the Red Hawk Luffy Chase, Soba Mask, you saw the chase earlier. Armored Chopper there. Luffy Gear 2. I don't actually own this one or the chase. Heavily debated keeping the chase. So still kind of thinking on that. But that is a great looking pop. Just wish it had more pinker skin. Then the Snake Man Luffy. White Beard. Tony Tony Chopper. Goldie Roger. Down here we have a couple Zoros. Like the Cody Exclusive Glow in the Dark. As well as Zora Enma. We have Jean Bay, the regular. Luffy Gear 4. <sighs> I still love that mold to this day. Then we have Buff Chopper. Ace and Odin. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into the grail section and when I tell you guys it is freaking crazy. So let's go over there. So let's start at the top here. We do have Velma. That's an old price tag sticker. I think she's more around the 100 range right now. We have Shinobu as I was saying earlier. Dobby, Dobby. So when I bought this actually they had five Dobbies in their collection. So there are five Dobbies in the stream. I thought there was only one and then I looked at the quantity and I was like, oh my God, there's actually five. So we have five today and they all have the uh, Hot Topic barcode sticker on there. So they're from Hot Topic. Then we do have Frankie with the silver nose and this one's actually from 2021. So it's not like a first release, but still pretty cool. Then we have Daphne from the Scooby-Doo set. This is the OG set, by the way, uh, from 2016. Trafalgar Law Chase. This Sanji is actually a first release all the way from 2018 for those wondering. Moving on, we do have a Tony Tony Chopper, the Funimation sticker. Also one I almost kept just because I really like that Funimation sticker on that chopper, but I have the special edition one. I'm perfectly fine with that at the same time. Then we have a couple sign pops in here like Zoro. It does say Wanted with his bounty. Another Dobby. Usopp signed by Sunny. And the quote does say, I'm the sniper for the Straw Hat Pirates. Don't, under don't underestimate me. I think that's a great quote for Usopp, Whitebeard Chase, Nami here says, you'll never find a navigator like me any time or anywhere else, excuse me. And then signed by Lucy, we have a Rey Mysterio here. Does actually have some like box fading conditions, but other than that, really cool piece from 2013. Then we have a Hollow Ichigo. This is the rare upside down sticker variation. I'm just kidding. There is no variation for that. It just came like that, I guess. I think once when it was originally released at GameStop, it was like that. I think it has a slight sticker peel. I think at one point, whoever owned this tried to peel it off and then they gave up. So it's just kind of like a messed up sticker, but at least it does have the sticker. Then we do have the Luffy Gear 2 Chase. It could have been so much better. <sighs> just a hockey fist. I just don't understand the choice there. Anyways, Monkey D. Luffy sign. It says, if you don't take risks, you can't create a future. LeBron James for any sports fans. Now, these ones were actually very interesting. So we have a couple Marvin the Martians in this show. So we have the orange one. We have the green one. And then we have two pink ones. So these are 25. No, this one's 2,500. This one's 1,000. And then this one's 1,000 and 1,000. And basically, I think almost the whole Mar Martian set there. And then while I'm already showing you, some of the bigger grail uh, items in here as well do include Freddy Funko as blue and Red Ranger. So those are 525 pieces. Continuing, we do have another Dobby, Samurai Brook signed. It says, death is never an apology. And that is signed by Ian. He's a great guy if you've never had the chance to meet him. He, he's fantastic. So please... Next time you're at a con, if you're a book fan, make sure you meet him. Then we have Ty from Digimon there. We also have Yamato there. 
uh, Dobby. We have Matt signed. So I think we actually have a full Digimon set today as well with some autographs from the voice actors. Marvin the Martian, as I just showed you. Down here, another crazy One Piece piece. We do have Trafalgar Law, uh, the original one. Green Jow there. Green Jow definitely has an interesting thing going on with him. Let me show you, actually. So overall, he's actually in really great condition. But for some reason, somebody decided it was a good idea at one point, I guess when they owned him in their store, to write with Sharpie, I think, $20 when he was worth that much. And I just don't understand writing directly on the merchandise you're trying to sell. That was such a weird choice. Anyways, though, a couple more chases we do have from the Funko shop. We have the Armor Chopper and Goldie Roger chase, Samurai Brook chase, the Marvins and Freddies I just showed you. Then we do have a Hollow Ichigo with a sticker intact, but it does have a slight peel. Beerus Metallic, crazy piece. Shanks chase, uh, Future Trunks there. Eustace Kid, which I'm actually thinking about keeping just because... I don't own him yet, and he's a great piece, and I would like to own him. Monkey D. Luffy Chase, and then those Marvins. And then over here, I don't think I showed you the Metallic Weiss from SCCC and the original release, All Might, from 2017. Alrighty, guys, so that is the majority of what is going to be in this show. Make sure to let me know down below if you saw anything that you might need, that you might be going after. And we're gonna be having giveaways in the show as well. I wanted to mention this. We usually always have giveaways, probably have a couple different ones as well as we do actually usually have in there. If you buy something, you actually get a raffle ticket. I throw it in a drawing and we pull at the end of the show and some person does win a random grail that I have chosen for that stream. So again, it's gonna be a really fun night and I do hope to see you there so make sure to bookmark now i won't take up too much more of your time today though so thank you so much for watching i do want to say a big shout out to all the awesome patreon supporters of the channel you guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel if you guys are interested and want to check out the page on the link is down below we have a page only discord where we share a lot of information news restocks updates links and more and lastly make sure you're following me on all my social medias at skittle rampage over on twitter tiktok instagram and my facebook page so you can stay up to date all right love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye